got some residue on my chest. Gotta get it off my chest. It's just some shit I gotta get off my chest. Uh, yeah. It's just some shit I gotta get off my chest. Hey. It's just some shit I gotta get off my chest. God. It's just some shit I gotta get off my chest. Hit me out. Hello, hello, hello. With the self esteem. Welcome to Enjoy Your Frequency. <laughs> I am the mogul. We are gathered here today to open up those doors in your mind that's been shut, that's been closed for a long time. Uh, this is Enjoy Your Frequency. It's about self love, mental health. It's about working on yourself. It's about submitting to yourself. You know, loving yourself 100%, 109%. I will be talking about all different type of topics. You know what I'm saying? From anxiety to negativity to manipulation to relationships to love to hate to fear. You know, a lot of cliche things, but my perspective is undeniable. The way I break this shit down, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you change your life. I'm going to show you how to enjoy your frequency. I came up with that name probably about a year and a half ago, you know. Uh, it's basically another way of saying love yourself or just enjoy who you are. Appreciate your own confidence, you know. Uh, enjoy where you at, the level where you at right now. Enjoy it because you're going to evolve or you might, you might uh, decrease and go back down a level. Wherever you at, enjoy it. You know, it's about being in the present moment, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say these things, but they really don't understand how important it is to be aware of yourself. I'm going to talk about anger. I'm going to talk about, you know, temperature, your temper. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to talk. I, I do music, too. I'm going to talk about music and stuff a little bit, too. But it's it's way bigger than that. This is about where the heart is at, where the mind is at. You know, how you can overcome things. You know, I'm going to break shit down. Uh, enjoy, your, enjoy your frequency forever, man. Yeah, so overthinking. I've been overthinking a lot. Today, it's the, and this episode is the first episode of Enjoy Your Frequency. And uh, it's about thoughts. It's about your thoughts. Where you at mentally? How do you control your thoughts? What are you thinking? You know, positive thoughts, negative thoughts, regular thoughts, okay thoughts, not so okay thoughts. What is going on in your mind? Can you sleep at night? Can you wake up in the morning? You know, what are you thinking about? Let's really talk about thoughts. And I, I decided for thoughts to be the first topic in the first episode because I was over, overthinking my episode. I wasn't being myself. I got to be myself, man can't be overthinking but it's sometimes it's okay to overthink because when you overthink it bring awareness you're going to be hearing the word awareness a lot in my videos but overthinking brings awareness that's you know what I'm saying that's that's factor number one it's overthinking if you overthink everything you put everything out on the table everything is out there you know what i'm saying it's better sometimes to overthink than underthink because at least you could hit everything across the board you know what I'm saying? So I was overthinking. I'm like, man, my first, I'm not, it, it wasn't coming to my mind. What's going on? My mind going blank. I'm getting nervous. Is these people going to get my message? Is these people going to understand what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to convey? I'm overthinking. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even, you know, thinking about my confidence on who I am and what's in, what's in this mind. You know, what's behind this skull to protect my mind. It's a, it's great things in here. Let me stop overthinking. But I needed to overthink initially so I could see what I was working with. So I said, let me overthink. Let me let me, let me me bring the overthinking to me so I can feel my thoughts. <clears throat> and I said, that's what I'm going to talk about. So, yeah, your thoughts, man, is everything. If you ever have a negative thought, address it right then and there. Do not push no negative thought to the side. Address it, you know. Feel that negative thought. Why, what is this negative thought coming from? Are you angry? Are you mad? Are you suppressing some hurt from a past, you know, thing, relationship, person, or just something with yourself? Is you lacking forgiveness or forgiving yourself? 
whatever it is, you know what I'm saying, address that negative thought. You might not want to do it right away. Sit still for a minute. Come back to the thought. See if it's still there. It might not even be there. A lot of our thoughts just be all over the place. And there might be a viewer right now saying, how can I control my thoughts? That leads to factor number two. Uh, controlling your thoughts. i give you an example. I got the perfect way how to control your thoughts. Say me and you. You. Whoever watching. You know what I'm saying? You. You know. Get your hand out your nose. Listen. Uh, say me and you sitting on the porch. On the west side of Chicago. Or wherever. We just sitting on the porch. And it's a lot of people just walking past. We having a good conversation. We talking about life. We talking about our jobs. We talking about our kids. We talking about whatever. We But we having a positive productive conversation we talking about our fears we locked in and it's probably a new person walking past the porch that we're sitting on like every five minutes somebody it's summer it's hot outside somebody just keep walking past you mean to tell me in the middle of this conversation we have you're going to stop our conversation and address every person that walked past i know you're not going to say hey to every person that walked past. you're not going to Man, man, you know what I'm saying? My job, man, bullshit going on, man. Fuck that bitch. Hey, how you doing? Hey, hello. You're not about to do that. You locked in on your conversation. Be locked in on your mind. You don't have to address every thought that cross your mind. You're not going to address every person that walked past you, even if you just sit on the porch by yourself. You might speak or say hey to somebody or somebody might wave or whatever acknowledge that they walking past your crib, but everybody not going to wave. And every thought don't have to be waved at. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to address every single thought. That's how you control your thoughts because it's your thoughts. See, we say all these words all the time and don't even know what we be saying. We just Some people just worry about the big words. But your thoughts, your, that's a small word. Thoughts is a small word. Your thoughts is still huge. You know what I'm saying? It's still, a, it's still obtuse. It's still, you know, something big to grasp. You know, it's your thoughts. You control them, you know, just like that, you know, and that's 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 how you that's one of the best ways to control your thoughts. Uh, another thing that I used to do when I was younger to control my thoughts, I used to drown my thoughts out. I used to drown them out. Ah, I do that. You know what I'm saying? Just by myself. I just drown them out. I uh, do some shit like that just to, you know, what I'm saying catch myself. But I stopped doing that once I matured. Uh, I started addressing the thought if I needed to. And then I started knowing certain thoughts. And if you got a thought that just keep popping up in your mind, talk to the thought. Talk to your thoughts. You know, a woman or a man that think it they is. You know what I'm saying? If you think of these things, you could turn you could turn it to your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Whatever that look like. You think of something great or positive, you it'll happen. It could happen. You know what I'm saying? If you think of something negative ever happened, if you worried about something happening to your kid or something happening to you and you thinking it, it might not happen right away. But that sponsor thought will still surround that that normal thought until it happened. You know, you could think it until and then certain thoughts won't happen. You could think the most belligerous thing, most belligerous shit you could think and it and it might not happen. But you know what do happen? You start chipping off at your soul. That's what really happened. The the harsh thing that you thought probably didn't happen, but your soul started chipping off. You know, I used to really have evil thoughts, man. I had to change. I had to grow, and my thoughts were so evil. One time, I was into it with at an old job. I was into it with one of my bosses, and he had a brother that worked with him, and I couldn't stand him. I hated them, and and I was like. Man, they about to go. They was about to go to Mexico. They was, you know, saying Latino guys. I was like, man, I hope they, I hope they die on the plane. You know what I'm saying? I, I thought that. I thought that that same weekend, nothing happened to them, but I lost somebody in my life. Rest in peace to my stepbrother. You know what I'm saying? Corey Showboat. You know what I'm saying? I'm not uh, blaming myself for his passing, but I'm saying it just was ironic that I was thinking that I wanted these people to die. They close brothers that and then I lost one of my brothers you know what I'm saying that that came on my mind especially when you grieving you will blame yourself but I couldn't I had to stop that thought of blaming myself but I did have to realize the thought that 
damn, this grieving wouldn't be so that much. It wouldn't be so much hard, that much harder, if I didn't think that negative shit. You know what I'm saying? So, man, I ain't gonna hold y'all alone. It's just about your thoughts, man. Have positive thoughts. Have regular thoughts. Control your thoughts. You know, it's okay to overthink. Let your thoughts be. Become an alliance with your thoughts. You know, think good things. Another thing before I go. If you just, if you're in a relationship, you know what I'm saying? And you're just getting out of a relationship, you know, you're going to find yourself waking up thinking about that person. If you really was in love and you really liked to love that person and that person, you know what I'm saying, uh, was like dear to you, you're going to wake up thinking about that person with a relationship over with. You might even wake up crying. Every morning you're waking up. You know, you 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 gonna be when you start waking up and you're not thinking about that person, you that much closer not you that much closer to being over them. But in that stage of why you waking up thinking about them, I'm gonna tell you what you could do to help yourself. Think about them. Stop trying to stop yourself from thinking about them in the morning when you wake up. Before you go to bed, tell yourself, I know I'm going to wake up thinking about that bitch. Or I know I'm going to wake up thinking about that punk ass nigga. Or I know I'm going to wake up thinking about, you know, thinking about her, you know, or whatever. And let yourself think about her. Or let yourself think about him, young lady. Whoever you are, you're going through a hurt right now and you and you you going through a breakup. Wake up and invite the thoughts. Invite the good, the good memories, the bad memories, all that. You know what I'm saying? Your memories are there to console your regrets. All right? It's the mogul, man. Be looking out, man. Every every Wednesday, I'm dropping an episode. This is episode one, Thoughts, uh, season one of Enjoy Your Frequency. Stay tuned for the next episode. It's all good. It's all real. Child up. I'm a scholar for the dollar, just hit my pain Fuck the bag, get the drip, and entertain I'm too fat, I'm too built, I feel ashamed Work it out, eat right, and do your thing I played the scam, took some L's, ain't let it ride And that's the way I took it, I don't respect